Welcome to my channel. In today, today's class, we are going to discuss. You know, I told you in my previous class when I talked about Pascal's triangle, how to draw it, that we are going to use it to solve some algebra today. Okay, in my next class. So we are asked to expand the expression 2 plus 3 x raised power of 4 with Pascal's triangle. You know that you cannot just expand this like that, like 2 plus 3x into 2 plus 3x into 2 or more. You are going to make mistake. That is the truth. So let's use Pascal's triangle to get this. If you did not watch my previous video where I explained how to derive the Pascal's triangle, I would advise you to go and watch that video before you come to this place. Okay? All right. But that's by, that's by the way. I'll still write out the Pascal's triangle to the fourth, to where we have this row, this four, okay, that we are going to use to work. This is the Pascal's triangle, okay? 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, you have 1, 1. No. I'm going to have 1, 1 here, then you have 2. You have um 1, 1. You have 3, you have 3, you have 1, 1. You have 4, you have 6, you have 4, you have 1, 1. Okay, if it's, in case if you don't understand what I did, this is what I did. You write the first, uh, the first one should be one. Second one should be one, one. Okay. Then third one, one plus one will give you two. Write that two in between this one and one. Let me, let me explain. So this one plus this one will give you two. Write it here in between this one and one. Then complete your row with one, one. Okay. So one plus two will give you what? Three. Two plus one will give you three. You complete it again. Okay. Now, 1 plus 3 will give you 4. 3 plus 3 will give you 6. 3 plus 1 will give you 4. You complete this and this. And this is the row that we need. The one that has this 4 and 4. That is the row that we need to use, that we are going to use to solve this. Now, having gotten that, we are going to write out this particular thing that we need here. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay? 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Just look at what I'm going to use it to do. We have 2 plus 3x raised power of 4, right? So first of all, write this one here. Bracket 2 into 3x. See what I wrote? This one, bracket 2 into 3x. Leave it like that. Plus, write this 4. Bracket 2 into 3x again. Don't worry, just leave it like this. Plus, write this 6. Bracket 2 into 3x plus write this for bracket 2 into 3x. <coughs> Excuse me. See what I'm following? This 2 and 3x is what I'm using though. Okay. Plus you write this one again. Bracket 2 into 3x. So what do we do now? We start adding the powers of these two from we are going to start from 4 because this is raised to the power of 4, right? So for this first one, which is this 2, we are going to add its powers from 4 and we reduce it as we go towards this side, okay? See what I mean? This first one will be 2 raised to the power of 4. Leave this 3x for now. Say, followed by 2 raised to the power of 3. Followed by 2 raised to the power of 2. Followed by 2 raised to the power of 1. Then it stops at 2 raised to the power of 0. Do you understand? 2 raised to the power of 4, 2 raised to the power of 3, 2 raised to the power of 2, 3 raised to the power of 1, 2 raised to the power of 0. We are through with 2. Then for our 3x, we need to add the power from the lowest to the highest. That means we are going to start from 0, okay? So we are going to write 3x raised to the power of 0, 3x raised to the power of 1, 3x raised to the power of 2, 3x raised to the power of 3, 3x raised to the power of 4. Hope you got what I said. All right. Now, what do we do next? We need to expand this, okay? So, 1 times 3 raised to the power of 4. 3 raised to the power of 4 is what? 16. So, it means that this one means 16 into anything. You have 3x raised to the power of 0. Hope you know that 3x raised to the power of 0 is 1. That is, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1 except 0. 1 million raised to the power of 0 is 1. So, 3x raised to the power of 0 is 1. So, it's more or less like saying 16 times 1 for this one, okay? Plus... We have 4 into 2 raised to the power of 3 is 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2, which is what? 8. So we are going to have 4 brackets, 8, 3x. Because 3x raised to the power of 1 is also 3x. Plus, you have 6 brackets. 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. Okay? Into 3x raised to the power of 2 is going to be 3 raised to the power of 2 
into x raised power of 2. You know, this bracket, this 2 is for these two numbers. So 3 raised power of 2 is what? 9. x raised power of 2 is x squared. Hope you understood me. Plus 4 into 2. This is 2 raised power of 1. So 4 times 2 will give us 8. Bracket. This should be 3 raised power of 3, which is what? 27 into x raised power of 3. Hope you understood. This 3 times this raised power of 3 is 27. x raised power of 3 is what I have here. Plus 1 times 3 raised power of 0. Anything raised power of 0 is 0, except 0, right? So that means we have 1 times 1 here. And 1 times 1 is 1, bracket. We are going to have 3 raised power of 4 here, which is 81, right? 3 raised power of 4 is 81. x raised to the power of 4. Now we continue. We continue. So this is going to be 16 plus here plus 4 times 8 is 32. 32 times 3. 32 times 3 should give us 96, okay? So this should be 96x, okay? Plus 6 times 4 times 9. 6 times 4 times 9. We give us 216. So this one should be 216x squared. Plus this should be 8 times 27. 8 times 27. The same 216. We are going to have 216 x raised to the power of 3 for this. Plus 81 raised to the power of x. 81 uh, x raised to the power of 4. Now, having gotten this. Okay, let me recap for benefit of those that did not understand what I did. Okay, first of all, we derived the Pascal's triangle. And notice that this is the row that we need to use to expand this 2 plus 3 x raised to the power of 4, right? So all we did was we wrote 1. We picked this one as coefficient of whatever we are doing. So we wrote 1, this one here. And we, bra we put into brackets this 2 and this 3x. We put 1 bracket 2 and 3x. We do not add these indices then, okay? We do not add these powers. Just write 1 bracket 2 bracket 3x plus 4 bracket 2 bracket 3x plus 6 bracket 2 bracket 3x plus 4 bracket 2 bracket 3x okay plus this one bracket 2 bracket 3x that is this 2 and this 3x now this is how you add your powers for your 2 which is the first number you start adding your powers from the highest and this is raised to the power of 4 so you start from 4 4. This should be 2 raised to the power of 4. The second one should be 2 raised to the power of 3. The, second, the next one should be 2 raised to the power of 2. Followed by 2 raised to the power of 1. Followed by 2 raised to the power of 0. You are true with that one. Then for the second one, which is 3x, you start from 0 to add the power and you increase. So it's going to be 3x raised to the power of 0, 3x raised to the power of 1, 3x raised to the power of 2, 3x raised to the power of 3, 3x raised to the power of 4. Do you understand? Then having done that, we started to expand. 2 raised to the power of 4 gave us 16. Bracket 3x raised to the power of 0. I told you people that any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Okay? So we got 3x raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. You understand? Plus 4 times 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8. In fact, from here, I believe you can expand this and get it. So if this is the first time you're coming across my channel, please do well to subscribe so that you can be seeing more of these videos, okay? All right, do have a lovely day and bye.